Yo, what's up, people? Um, I've been getting a lot, a fair amount of requests to react to one of my old videos. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, I wonder which one I'm going to do, though. Um, what, 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 were, what was a good one? I think this one was good, me and Alice, but... No, it's too much nostalgia. Uh, let's do this one, the blonde leading the blonde. Um, okay, so this is a vlog that I did. Oh, God, I gotta do this at normal speed. Shit. Oh well, this is my own video. <laughs> um, anyway, <clears throat> 2016 I vlogged for a month, and this video clearly not super popular, 147 views. I, I wonder maybe if I should go back and retitle these videos. Um, anyway, this is a video that I did 2016, I think I was in my broke loser phase at this point, and... God. <laughs> so awkward. Alright, whatever. Anyway, this is my old apartment in Brentwood. God, I haven't watched this in so long. Uh, alright. I've been up since 6, it's like 10 o'clock now. I've tried to get myself up to go to the gym, but like, not gonna happen. My body's just not, not ready for it today. So, instead, I'm just gonna spend the whole day at the beach. I'm going by myself. Going to the beach by yourself is like going to the movies by yourself, but even more pathetic. Because at the movies, you can at least, like, you have an excuse. Like, okay, yeah, I just wanted to watch the movie. It's not like you're gonna actually, you know, talk to the person during the movie. But going to the beach by yourself, it's like, what? You don't have, like, anybody that you can go to the beach with. Like, you're just gonna go sit there by yourself and stare at the water. Like, what is that? God, that's so pathetic. Anyway, that's what I'm gonna do. That's awesome. Um, <clears throat> it's so funny watching this now. I'm, like, looking at my... I don't know, it's just weird. Like... Is my, am, I, am I really living so differently now, you know? First of all, when was this? This is three years ago. I don't know, have I aged really that much in three years? I, I feel like I have. Do I look that much older? I don't know, I look okay. Uh, definitely in better shape back then, for sure. For sure in better shape. I think this was during my... Um, I want to say this was during my CrossFit phase. And also, I was taking, like... I think this was Cerebral License slash CrossFit slash MK677. I was on all these fucking peptides. I was in the best shape ever. Oh my god, just fucking yoked. Also, angles pretty good. Got to got to get that MySpace angle. Anyway, clearly a little depressed <laughs> in this video. Uh, this might have been before Wellbutrin. Um, I was just very aimless back then. Also, still very aimless, but I don't know. I I feel like I have more direction now. This is before I had my business in Australia. This is before I really dove too deeply into the YouTube stuff. I was doing daily vlogs. I was going to Equinox. My life was essentially like drive for Uber, go to Equinox, and that's it. Um, yeah. I just didn't have enough energy to go to the gym today. I tried, I really tried. So now I'm going to go to the beach. I tried like inviting other people. I remember a time in my life where I could get up on a Friday morning and text 10 people and ask them if they wanted to go to the beach and at least three or four would say, yeah, of course, I'll meet you there, you know, 30 minutes or whatever. And I don't know if it's just because I'm older now or because LA, LA is a little bit harder to, um, the fuck is this guy doing? Or if LA is just harder to uh, get around in because you're gonna drive everywhere. I texted basically like everybody I, <laughs> that I know asking if they want to go to the beach and I'm going by myself. So there you go, I'm a big loser. Yeah, but I don't really care. Like I need to get a tan. I want to be out of the beach and go, go in the ocean. Like I love the beach and I just don't go enough. I think I'm on my period or something. All I want to do is just like stay home and play video games and eat and not do anything until tonight when I have my Shabbat dinner. But thanks to me recording my life all day every day, yeah, I just don't want to do that. I look like a big loser. They say like, oh, do whatever you want. It's your life. Like who cares what people think of you? But like at the end of the day, if you know people are watching, then, and it's not like a lot of people are watching, but if you know even some people are watching and you can't get away with being a huge loser, and staying at home and playing video games all day and doing nothing, you better believe you're gonna try and make your life interesting.
God, how cool was that back then? Really, not really that cool. Just like so that a couple things. That time of my life where I could text ten people and go, somebody would meet me at the beach in like twenty minutes. That was in Tel Aviv, right? Which is a very walkable city where everybody lives like near each other, and it's not. I always say nobody moves to Tel Aviv for the money, really, which is true. Nobody moves there for the money. Move there for the lifestyle. Move there for the beach. Move there for the like, fun and sun. Also, I, I, I make a lot of comments about being a huge loser, right? During this time, I was very close with a friend of mine who I was in the army, with, or we were in the army at the same time. We're both kind of from LA. We both lived in LA for a long time, and he lived in LA during this time as well. And we would always say stuff like that because he's also, you know, lost soul really in the world, like. He didn't work. It's just like he's a disaster. Like, you think I was a disaster back then? No, this guy was a fucking disaster. Still a disaster, as far as I know. Um, but yeah, what I, what I said was true. Like when you know people are watching, you're gonna want your life to seem much more interesting. I don't know. I'm I'm getting like I don't know if it's that I was depressed in this video or just aimless or if it's that when I live in a certain city my voice changes. I think that might be the case as well. In times where I've spent a lot of time in Israel, I'll talk to my mom, for example, and she'll say, oh, you have like a little bit of an Israeli accent when you talk. And then I'll notice, I mean, I don't notice it, really. I, I guess that might be the case because she, she notices because she talks to me in different places. And I guess you would notice something like that. And in LA, it's a very chill, very like laid back place. So I'm like, you hear my voice like, all right, like, I'm gonna go to the beach, you know? Um, but people always spot me as a Californian somehow. I don't know, I feel like I just talk normally, but then I, I'll watch some of my videos and I'll be like, oh my God, I actually sound like that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay, so change of plans. I invited Alice to go to the beach and she wrote me back and she's like, oh, I'm doing a video shoot with my friend. They're also making videos. So now I'm going to Temescal and PCH, which is actually right down the street from Palisades High School, which is where I went to high school. So I know that area very well. Yeah, now I'm gonna go there and do that. It's gonna be awesome. Alright, so Alice spotted me trying to go to the beach and now I'm lying down in the back of her car. Turn around, Alice, say hello. <laughs> Hola. She's, she's putting her makeup on, so she's not she's not camera ready yet. But uh, yeah, now we're waiting for a friend Fiora and uh, then we're gonna film some workout videos. So why are you tired? Um, I was up all night having sex. So this girl Alice, shout out to Alice, I don't think she watches my videos, <clears throat> but this girl Alice uh, was a trainer at Equinox when I would go, when I belonged to Equinox. She's a trainer there. Randomly started talking to her one day. Super cool chick. Super cool. Like I, you know, it's, it's rare to make friends the older you get. It's rare to like meet somebody and you become friends with them like immediately. It's rare. You know what I mean? It, it doesn't happen that often. I feel like it happens much, much more often when you're younger. But Alice and I like became friends right away. Um, this, I also kind of became friends with her right around the time where I started doing these vlogs, right? And she also was kind of a lost soul, like also wanted to get into making videos. She's a natural on camera, honestly, this girl. Like Sometimes I'll pull out my phone and I'll film and I can tell people like weirded out. They're like, oh, or like shy away. But I'm with friends, right? Or they're just awkward and weird about it. Some people, they light up and they like jump in front of the camera and they just like act a fool and they're just much more comfortable. Alice, oh shit, am I like muting myself during this entire fucking thing? No, okay. Uh, Alice, definitely not, right? So I had a lot of fun filming not only this video but another other videos with her as well. Um, yeah, it was just fun, really, honestly. It was just like a good time hanging out with her. And just in general, when I would hang out with her, just a, a, just a cool chick. Um, but yeah, anyway, I don't know, like, I'm looking back on this, I know I was fucking depressed as shit at the time, but this is not a bad piece of content. 
Is it? Really, this is not. Honestly, like I'm, I'm looking at this now with what I know about making videos. What really sucks here is the title. This title is garbage. The Blonde Leading the Blonde. Yeah, okay, fine. That's like an artistic title and it's good if you're like already famous on YouTube basically and you have enough subscribers and enough people watching your videos so that you can have a video with a retarded title like this and people will watch it anyway. But if you're new, like if I title this for example, Santa, a, a day, um, the best beach in Santa Monica, for example, the best beach in the Palisades, Temescal and PCH, or my, my day at the beach, something like that. Whatever, that's that's a searchable. That's a term people. That's a term people will search for. You know, it's not it's not a bad piece of content. It's really not that bad. Watching it again, compared to what I've seen, fucking, I don't know. I just watched this video about this guy in the train where he's like, what's he even doing? Like, Way worse than this. I don't know. I think. No offense, Adi. If you ever watched this video, doubtful you will. But um, this is not so bad, really. I, I mean, people would watch this. I think, right? Like with the editing and the overlay and stuff like that. I, I don't know. Should I start vlogging again? I feel like I should. Alice, you were born to be in front of the camera. I'm telling you. I'm telling like you. right now. You're made for it. All right. So we're going down right now. I think anytime you have women doing something, it always takes like five times as long as like if a man were to do it. Oh, Case in point, it. we've been like getting ready to go okay. for like ten minutes. We got hair. We got like, do I need beauty. my makeup? Do I need my yoga mat? Can I get some support from the gentle, gentle you, man? What kind of support do you need? Like I mean, emotional I don't know. support? What do you think? Uh, emotional support. Uh, I can't carry that. My, my hands are full. Sorry. Not really? Yeah, they are. This is why women can multitask and men can't. Whoa, this is why women get married, I think. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> oh, Theora, is, this is Theora, by the way. Say hi, Theora. Hi. Oh, she's such a classy lady. Keeping it classy all time. What did you Love do this time? She's got her giant, oh, yeah. giant penis <laughs> sticking out. All right, we need to go now, I think. I think we need to go. <laughs> Alright, so once again I have to say, when you leave things up to women, it just takes like 20 times longer. But, they're cute, so it's okay. You've heard of the blind leading the blind? This is the blonde leading the blonde. This is not bad, really, is it? Or, or, or is it really that bad? Like, this is, I don't know. I, again, like I said, based on what I know now about creating content on YouTube, this is... I don't know, I think I had the right idea with, with these vlogs, like, the way that I understood it, right, is you have talk, whatever, you film your little scene in the vlog, whatever, and then you have some b-roll that further tells the story, kind of. Like, for example, I wouldn't do b-roll of, like, a plant, or whatever, a plant blowing in the wind. The, the b-roll, right, okay, so this is a-roll, where, like, it's the actual plot, like, me talking to her, or whatever. B-roll, for those of you who don't know, somehow, is, like, uh, it's kind of, it's like with the, with the music in the background. It's basically the B-roll. B-roll of me driving in the car. B-roll of me like packing my bag for the beach. B-roll of me like walking with Alice. And the other girl's name is Theora. I don't know if you guys caught that. Of us like walking, right? Probably going to see some more B-roll here of the stuff that they were filming. Like, I think it was, they were doing like, they did like a yoga instructional video or something like that. Probably not the best idea to do it on the beach. It's very windy at the beach. Didn't really realize this until later. They also had no idea what they were doing. They had these videos on YouTube and also Facebook it was like Alice and Theora's like fitness time or something. Alice is a, is a certified personal trainer, yoga teacher, very fit, very athletic, good on camera. Theora was just like her friend where she was like, Theora, you should do it with me. We'll do it together, you know? And Theora's like, okay, cool. Cool chick, very cool girl, but not really so into fitness. You could tell that, I'm sure. Um, Anyway, they also had no idea what they're doing. I had no idea what I was doing. But this is, is this, this is not bad, really. I mean, do I just like it because it's me and I'm getting a kick out of watching my old videos? Maybe. But I don't, I don't think this is, is bad, really. It's not such a bad piece of content, correct? Or, or am I wrong? Tell me I'm wrong, maybe I'm wrong, I don't know. <laughs> All right, and action. You're on. Hello, everybody. Allison, you are here. Wait, hold on, do that again. I accidentally hit the zoom. Take two, and go! So you say hi, Alice, and you are here. 
Yeah. No, you already said that like five oh, times. Okay, I did it. Okay. Yeah, is it good though? I mean, it's good when you say it once, not when you say it like every 10 seconds. Okay. Ready? Then you're going to go first. See, this is what people need to see. They need to see like you fixing your hair, you guys not really having an idea what you're doing. Like this is endearing. You know what I mean? Like people care less about the actual workouts and more about this. This is fun. This is like, I want to watch this. You know? Guess what you get to. All right. All right. Okay. I'm glad this is on my camera. How many? Okay, go ahead. No, I got a new one. This is so what you do with these workouts is we have the structure, so we have each exercise. Now this is just a sample exercise, but if you want more of a workout, you can repeat the same thing until you get the whole workout. So for example, it's only about a few minutes, but if you want more of like a 10 to 30 minute workout, you just repeat it until you get to your goal number. You're going to get stronger each time, so keep it up and keep challenging yourself. Awesome. Fiora, what do you have to add? Um, yeah, redo the workout, Oppie. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, I don't, I can't have my glasses on this. Let me do the talking. Okay. Let Theora do the talking. She's the problem solver. Go ahead, Theora. What All do you have right, to say? So, this is the thing. We're going to do a handstand. Alice is going to do the handstand. I'm going to be the wall. Handstands are really good for getting the blood pumping and like getting your mind started like for the day. Especially. I'm a little sleepy right now. Yeah, so, I'm so gonna handstand. this is why we're going to handstand it out. Ready? I need help. So, here's the progression of what we're going to do. Uh, again, like, it's, is it not obvious from this that neither they nor I have any idea what we're doing? But the, the thing that I like about Alice and also Fiora, I guess, is that they, they don't let that stop them, nor do I let that stop me from doing anything, really, whatever I want to do, straight up. Like, the, the way that these two girls, I don't know if they met this way, I don't think that's actually how they met, but I, I do know. So Alice, if you look at Alice right now, she's very exuberant, very outgoing, very just having fun, right? And and so is Theora. Kind of out of, they're out of their shell. They're just like very. They're just very like comfortable. Don't they seem just like happy, confident people? I don't know. A little awkward, but fine. It's because they have no idea what they're doing. Um, but from what I recall. Fiora was very into like there's a there's an organization called Landmark right which is basically like a self improvement program it's like three months or six months for adults where you'll go I think they call it leadership training actually where you go and you pay whatever it's fucking expensive it's like a couple grand and you go every week or every two weeks or something and they have you do all these drills that will build your confidence and Alice like made Fiora go because. Oh, sorry, no. Fiora made Alice go because Alice, like, was at a time in her life she wasn't doing so well. She was kind of depressed and, like, she wanted to go or, or she just, like, needed something like that and she, like, made her go to this, like, landmark. It wasn't landmark. It was another one. Whatever. Was, yeah, leadership training. Um, and it both, like, helped them get out of their shell. And I think also that's, that's what kind of makes them just so willing to act, willing to, to do something, willing to go to the beach with a camera with some guy that they didn't really know that well and like film something and try and put the content out there which they did you know you just there, there's just to, to make an entertaining interesting piece of content not like I'm the authority on that by any means but in order to do that you need let's say there's 30 things you need to do right you need to have good SEO right you need to you never you need to have a good title the blonde leading the blonde why is this a bad title because nobody's gonna search for that who's gonna search for that nobody ever really like wh what are they gonna type for blonde leading blonde like what that's that's not a searchable term right so it needs to have a good title right number one needs to have a good title number two the, the content itself needs to be catchy in the beginning mine was not interesting in the beginning it was like oh i'm like waking up like all right i'm a loser I'm going to the beach because i'm a loser if we had started with this let's say let's say i had cut the intro together cut it into pieces with like clips of alice clips of fiora just like you know how they'll do like jump cuts like two seconds each maybe five of those and that'll be the intro right like Alice and they were running to the beach them smiling and laughing me like talking to the camera a little bit eating some food whatever and that's the intro that'll get people hooked to watch the rest of the video if that's the intro you know what I mean that's number two number three you gotta have the right tags the tags for this I don't even know what are the tags for this I, I wonder does this even have tags video tags Los Angeles vlogger blonde fitness model fitness youtuber all right so these are not terrible but like, this is not good, right? If this was, for example, um, 
set, what is this? You need to do more types of these vlogs. Super authentic, funny. There's an audience for this. Clearly, I'm watching, and it doesn't hurt that you are easy. That you ate easy on the eye. Uh, this person somehow like spir spiritual serendipity. If you're out there, watched a bunch of my vlogs, my old vlogs like these, and commented on them. Anyway, you need to tick a lot of the boxes if you want to have if you want to create a, a traditionally good piece of content, as evidenced by the rest of the good content that's out there. For some reason, I, I just haven't been doing that. You know, I've been making reaction videos. Fine. Like, is who's going to sit through a fucking thirty like eight 30, 30 minute videos a day? Not a lot of people. But I think knowing what I know now, I could probably go back to vlogging and have it be somewhat interesting, you know? Because I, I know a little bit more about what makes a good YouTube video as a result, fortunately, of watching all this shit. Anyway, let's watch more. And we're gonna do downward dog. This, you get your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Alice is very, Alice is good at this position. I'm gonna, anyway. So I'm here, we're gonna walk the wall. All right, round two. All right, that was fun. Just did their little photo shoot thing, I guess. Now we're gonna take some sexy shots. I'm not sexy, so I'm not gonna take the shots. I will be the photographer. Fiora, look over here. Hey guys, this is a horrible angle. <laughs> every 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 shot, Fiora's like, that's a bad angle. I mean, Doesn't matter, like up, it. down. It's like doing me right. Angle, <sighs> angle it right. Wow, my hair looks terrible. All right, so we just finished hanging out at the beach. Now we're all best friends. Look at those two hot blonde girls, right, be right, right behind yeah, Alice and Fiora. Yeah, they're in the middle of a girl fight. So yeah, we're walking back now. All right, well that was a fun little experience that I just had uh, with these two chicks. They're very cool. Oh my God, I almost got killed just now. I might have a little bit of a heat stroke. I'm sunburned and um, I'm gonna go home and edit this video and then I'm going to Shabbat dinner, I think in Venice in like a couple hours. Um, but it was fun. I had a good time. We were there for like, I don't know, four hours or something. They're cool. They're cool girls. All right, peace out. All right. You know, feel free to tell me I'm wrong, but like, that was not bad, really. Okay, fine. It was, it was not perfect. Okay, it's not, not a perfect video by any stretch of the imagination, but like, the shots of LA, the shots of the beach, the funny interaction between the girls, between me and the girls, like it was not it was not bad. Like that that could be a popular style and piece of content. Beautiful scenery, hanging out at the beach, just a bunch of people fucking just being goofy, like I, I don't know, I'm kind of inspired to like go do that again, really. Again, like I said, with with what I know now, because I didn't even realize it was happening, but as a you know, over the past year, I've been making these snake dive videos. I've been making, I made, a, I made fucking over 600 videos this year. 600 videos, right? Like, you think about it. And to be fair, a lot of those were reaction videos, and a lot of those are just me talking to the camera. Many of those are edited, and even though those were the videos, shit, did I just hit mute? Even though those were the videos that I was making, I still was able to watch and essentially research what makes a good video because I was watching these videos with a critical eye as you know a YouTube creator. So as I'm watching this, I, I'm kind of analyzing it as I were as if I were analyzing somebody else's video. And it's there's there's not a lot missing from this. Really what I think the only thing that's missing is a good title for SEO and a better introduction. Really. And and better sound, obviously the sound of the beach is really bad, but like small things like that are, are not hard, you know, to, to piece, I mean, I edited this entire fucking video, it's been like six hours to do. I also had a shittier computer back then. 
my editing software it took a long time to, to edit. But um, this, is, this is not hard to like to create this content on a daily basis, straight up. The hard part now for me, I think, would be, and not all my blogs were this entertaining. I, I think this is probably one of the better ones. Um, the hard part now for me would be having an interesting life where I'm out doing stuff like this. Really, where am I now? I'm fucking lost, like, in the like, ass crack of Asia, really. Um, but anyway, t look, look at this video. One like and one dislike. That's it, you know? Crazy. Uh, I'm gonna love this comment. Okay, anyway, what do you think about that video? Should I start vlogging again? Should I start making good content again instead of all these spamming, these fucking reaction videos? Uh, let me know, leave me a comment, tell me what I should do with my life. Peace.